past Saturday, No Surrender was one of the most emotionally charged events in the 20 year history of this company. It is time for the aftermath as we welcome you to Impact Wrestling. And we begin our night with a man who is still the Impact World Champion, Moose. Is he earned every bit of that victory, if you ask me. But what a fight it was. Knockdown, drag out fight with W. Morrissey, but it was Moose who at the end of that night stood tall. The old adage is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. How about the changes? Honor No More is here to stay. Eddie Edwards turning his back on Impact Wrestling, plus the infighting, the civil war in Bullet Club that has played out here in the Impact Zone. All the while, Moose's championship reign continued as he defeated W. Morrison. Month after month after month, I've proved why well, I'm the greatest world champion in all of professional wrestling. And that no surrender, I did it again. I stepped into this ring face to face with a Titan and I put him down one, two, two three. three. But all you people talk about yeah. is Eddie Edwards. There's only one man in professional wrestling that needs to be acknowledged. And that's me, the wrestling guy. Because without me, they wouldn't be Eddie Edwards. Without what I did to Eddie Edwards at Turning Point, you guys wouldn't be talking about what Eddie Edwards did at No Surrender. You see, I have the special ability. This ability that when you step into this ring with me, I change your whole world forever. And it's never for the good. Don't believe me? I'll prove it to you. What happened to Josh Alexander after I beat him for my world title at Bound for Glory? He lost his mind and he's no longer in Impact Wrestling. What happened to your hero, Mid Cardona, after I beat him at Hard to Kill? He turned his back on you guys. In fact, he stooped so low, he hit Jordan Grace in the face with a steel chair. And W. Morrissey, only the Lord knows what downhill spiral he's going to fall through. I guess the point that I'm making is when you step into this ring with me and you fail, your whole world goes upside oh, down. Baby! Moose, do, do, you, do you think this is a joke? I mean, really, do you? Because this ain't no joke, man. You out here talking about Eddie Edwards and everything, how he's been going crazy, it's all your fault. Eddie Edwards was a huge piece of the impact puzzle. The people loved Eddie Edwards. The locker room loved Eddie Edwards. And here you are telling jokes. I don't know if you know this or not, but man, we're at war. We are at war at impact. We have Honor No More, the Ring of Honor boys terrorizing everything, beating people up, jumping them, 
And then we have our champ, our leader, up here telling jokes. Makes no sense to me. You know what? Hold on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And you know what? I busted, man. I busted my ass to get here at Impact. And I got to Impact. Once I got the impact, yeah, you know, I might have got hurt, I might have got injured, I might have been out for a whole year. But you know what? You're damn right I got kids. But you know what, Moose? Impact Wrestling stuck by me. These people stuck by me. And if I have to stand tall alone and help out Impact, I will. Because I'm looking at our champion, our leader, and he's doing nothing. So you've been here for a cup of tea, now you're an Impact guy, right? I have a question for you, Mr. Impact guy. Where were you the last month when Honor No More was wrecking chaos? In fact, where were you at No Surrender when Eddie Edwards did what he did? Well, have you, have you heard of the uh, COVID protocols? So let me tell you something, Moose. Let me, let me ask you a little question. I took my COVID test and I'm negative. And it looks like you and Morrissey's done with your little feud. So you know what? Let me jog your little memory a little bit. My very first match ever here at Impact was against you. And guess what? I've been wanting a piece of that pie ever since then. And now, the Impact World Championship. And I want to face you, me and you, so these people will have a champion that'll stand up and fight for their company. Is that really what you want, Heath? Because I know you wasn't listening to what I was saying. I don't think you want to go down that downhill spiral. And let's be clear here. I don't give a damn about Ring of Honor. I don't care about Honor no more. I don't care about Impact Wrestling. I don't care about Rich Swan, Willie Mack. Steve Macklin, Chris Saban, you, Rhino. In fact, I don't care about your family. I don't care about your wife. And I certainly don't care about your ugly ass kids. Oh, he's had enough. I can't blame the man you don't come for someone's family like that without getting a punch in the mouth. to the Impact World Champion! Opportunity yet. Don't get ahead of yourself, Heath. That's one, one thing I will tell you. The same goal that Cardona, Edwards, and Morrissey have pursued. Heath has stated his claim. Heath wants most for the Impact World Championship. He wants to be a champion that these fans can appreciate and will stand up for Impact Wrestling. <laughs> 